What is going on, honorable people? Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, what I have for y'all is not a full-on video like I would prefer and what I would intend for y'all to see, but instead it is a clip of some videos uh, about this pond I went to recently. It's uh, right behind Chicken Express here in town, and it's a it's a pretty uh, famous pond. But uh, every time I've fished, I've never had the best of luck at this pond. It's just it's like one of those you know nice sized ponds that you know it's there, but people really don't fish it that much, and you kind of wonder why. And over the years that I've lived in this town, uh, you know, I've seen a few people fish there, I've fished there, and all I caught is like a crappie or two, you know, like that big, or a bass, you know, like that big. But uh, there must be something in the water here lately, because the other day I went to that pond, I didn't take my GoPro, which is, you know, shame on me, I should have took it anyway, you always take your GoPro. Any fishing YouTuber, outdoor YouTuber, always say it always happens when the camera's not rolling, and it, it is so true. The, the bite always turns on as soon as you turn that GoPro off, or anything like that, it's, it just happens. But anyway, I went to this pond, did not take my GoPro stuff, all I had is my phone, and I started fishing, but I'm just gonna let the video clip show it for itself. I apologize for the video, it is off my phone that was sitting on my bag off to the side. It's a horrible clip it, but I just wanna show y'all something that way y'all can see what I've been doing lately. It's been two weeks since I put out a video and I feel horrible about it, but between school and work, guys, I am just so stumped. It's really hard to get out there with the little free time that I have and uh, go fishing, especially when it rains all the time here. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Let's get to these clippets. Y'all are gonna see it is a giant, giant crappie. I don't know how big it was, but it was well over 12 inches. It is a huge, 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 huge crappie. So let's go ahead and roll that clip for y'all. new PB crappie. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn the camera around. Forgot the GoPro today, so just on my phone, but there you go, first big crappie, giant, thought it was a bass at first, <laughs> I hope y'all are able to see it because, yeah, I forgot my GoPro today, very spur of the moment fishing trip right at this pond, but paid off, big old crappie. Alright, let's put him in. Oh yeah, this goes up to I think 12. Absolutely giant crappie, I know. It just, that was insane. I uh, took me by surprise, as y'all can, I know y'all can see it, but I was fishing around those lily pads that are like right across from me, and I was just popping that cork with that little, uh, it was the electric chicken, Mr. Crappie Jig, and it's the one with a little ball on the tail, and I was just popping that every like few seconds, and uh, all of a sudden, boom, he took it down, boy. He uh, got a hold of that thing, and I thought it was a bass at first, because all I saw was like a streak of something this big, and boom, I was like, oh, I got a bass, awesome, and nope. Giant, giant, over 12 inch crappie, which was amazing. But um, here is this next clip. This one it was the highlight of my day, in my opinion. But uh, when I got there to this spot, I looked right down where that little spillway is, that little dam, there's a little dam. I don't know if y'all be able to see it in these clippets, but there's a dam. And right there in the corner of that dam where the concrete meets the dam, it had like a little corner. Uh, I looked down when I was uh, fishing my crappie jig and there was like a little crappie that was chasing my jig. I could barely see with my Polaris glasses on. And all of a sudden, I just see something massive, a massive shadow just come by and just, boom, scared off. I was like, what is that? So I keep looking down, looking down. All of a sudden, the, the clouds part, and I'm able to get just a little bit of sunlight, and I'm able to look down and see with my Polaris glasses, and I see there is a five to six pound giant bass sitting right there on a bed. 
completely unbeknownst to me the entire time. I did not even see her, but she was there and she was a monster. So the next two hours, <laughs> or at least it felt like two hours, it might've been only an hour. Uh, I am dropping my white lizard down there. I'm trying to get in front of her. And then, you know, the clouds roll in and I wouldn't be able to see her. All I'd be able to see is like this little tiny bit of white down there. Cause that water was probably about five or six feet down. I could barely, barely see my white lizard. And all of a sudden, you know, I'd see it start moving. I'm like, oh, I got her, so I yank it. And nope, she was just pushing it with her nose. She wasn't even biting it. She was nosing down on it and pushing it off the bed. <laughs> Crazy. So persistence pays off, and this is why. Uh, I keep throwing the lizard down there, keep throwing it, keep throwing it, keep throwing it. Uh, one time I dropped it down there, and I think it landed on her head. And it aggravated her just enough where she saw it and rolled over on her side like that. And all of a sudden, boom, she hit it. And I set the hook. And then I'm gonna show you these video clips that I got of uh, me setting the hook. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I don't think I've ever stared this hard into the water before. I'm sorry, I know y'all can't see what I'm looking at, but just trust and believe there's at least a five pound bass right here, eyeballing my bait very freaking hard. Look here, look here. Damn. <laughs> After trying this fish for about not, almost two hours, finally got it. She would not bite it for the longest time. What are you saying? Yeah, barely. All I saw was a dark shadow, and then my bait would disappear, and she'd like just move it. She wouldn't even bite it. And finally, she got mad enough, she finally bit it. I barely got it. The top of the roof for the mouth. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We good? Yeah. All right, let's get a release. Let me get a quick Good? Yeah. Good run? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna record the release on her. Yeah. But yeah, there was that giant bass. That was uh, probably my biggest of the year. Yeah, yeah, I want to say probably the biggest of the year. She was five, probably definitely pushing six. She wasn't long. She was just thick. You could tell she was getting full of eggs or at least getting, you know, starting to get to that stage. But she was just thick. She had a big, thick back. She had a thick belly. She was probably, I don't know, probably that thick. She was thick, but she was a shorty. So she was like a Snickers bar, thick and short. Like I like them. <laughs>
But anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to show you all those clippets. It's been a while. I feel bad. I feel like a horrible YouTuber not putting y'all out content as often as I can. But I wanted to show you all this video. Uh, I know it's not, not the cool, awesome, you know, drone footage, B-roll like you wanted. But, you know, it's what I got. And that's my fault for not taking my GoPro. I uh, honestly, honest, uh, <clears throat> on it, on it. What's that word? Honorly, honestly, whatever it's called. I swear to start taking my GoPro with me from now on. Uh, it's just a habit I still have to form, I guess. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you all those clippets. I really hope you all enjoyed these clippets. I'm about to have some more clips coming up. Uh, we went crappie fishing, and it was raining, and it was really, really hard to have like my go my drone out, my uh, go my big camera because they're not weatherproof. But anyway, on the next video, I'm gonna show you all uh, us on a bridge, tearing some crappie up. So uh, y'all get ready for that. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Galactic Channel for all things outdoors and fishing. You know you love it, guys. I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.